I want to make is that Mr. Gandhi and Mr. Banker have been part of an organized campaign to spread disaffection openly and systematically to, to render the government impossible and to possibly overthrow it. The, the first article the first article put in from Young India, dated 15th March 1921, states that, that it was the duty of a non-cooperator to spread disaffection towards the government. Your Lordship, I want to show that these articles are not isolated. Mr. Gandhi is time and again through his speeches, through his publications, has caused unrest among the masses to his so-called civil disobedience and non-cooperation. In my opinion, Your Lordship, Mr. Gandhi should be punished with the harshest of sentences in the eyes of law. Silence! It's all, Your Lordship. Mr. Banker, would you like to say something? I would, my lord. M m my lord, if I may. <coughs> there is no doubt that Mr. Banker's offense is of a lesser character because he did not write. But being a man of means and resources, my lord, Mr. Banker did the publication. Therefore, I would very much like this quote to note down that his offense is too of a serious nature, Mr. Banker. My lordship, I would only like to say that I have the privilege of printing these articles and I plead guilty to the offense. <coughs> As regards the sentence, I have nothing to say. <coughs> and you, Mr. Gandhi, would you like to make a statement on the question of sentence? <coughs> yes, Your Honor. I would like to make a statement here. You may proceed. I believe I owe it perhaps to the Indian public and to the public in England an explanation as to why from a staunch loyalist and cooperator I transformed into an uncompromising disaffectionist and non cooperative <coughs> My journey with the British authority began in 1893 in South Africa and he was not of a very happy character. I realized then that I had no rights because I was a man from India. As I came back to India, the very first shock that came my way was in the form of the Rollat Act. An act that I have very strongly condemned because it was designed to rob my people of all real freedom. No objection, Your Lordship. Mr. Gandhi is just proving my point by going against the crown. Objection sustained. Mr. Gandhi, I can hold you in contempt of crown for making such statements. My sincere apologies, Your Honor. In the case of State versus M.K. Gandhi,